Hi everybody, how's it going? We are here with the Timeless Reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with the highest good. So we are using the Fountain Tarot deck. The first card out is the Four of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles can be like something that you've been stacking up, holding on to. But what I'm getting is that there may be something that you've been spending time doing, holding on to, and you could be looking at it and being like, why is that where I put my energy? Like, why is that sort of like what I invested in and decided to save here? Like, Four of Pentacles, it just looks like something just sitting here. It almost looks even dusty at this point. Like, you may have forgotten about it, and you're like... Why had I put so much? It feels like something that may not be relevant for you anymore. Like the way that this person is looking at this, it's like, why did I even do that? Like, why did I spend so much time doing that? Even though I'm sure there were like definitely pros why you did that. But right now you may really be focusing on like all of the reasons that maybe you wouldn't do that in the future. Because I'm just seeing you looking at something and being like, it's kind of like when you make an investment and you think it's going to be better than it actually is and it's just not. And I don't usually feel like the Four of Pentacles is an investment, but the way that this card is coming across, it's like something that you save up. Like you thought you were going to save something up and it was really going to mean something. And then you get to the point where you have a whole bunch of it and you're like, why did I do that? Like, this isn't even something precious to me. It's something like that. Like, that's what I spent all my time doing, you know? This can also be associated with, like, working a lot. Like, working and working and working. And then um, looking, at, looking back and being like, I wish that I would have enjoyed, like, my time more rather than working all the time. Now I feel like I spent all my time doing that and then like where did the time go? It can be like that. But it can also be like specifically like why is that what I chose to invest in? Because I feel like Five of Cups can be like regrets that we can feel or just this moment of being like I wish I had reevaluated it or I wish I would have like corrected myself sooner I wish I hadn't been holding on to that for so long, you know, but this can also be a mark for where you are now and a lesson for you or a moment for you where you're like, I don't want to spend even longer holding on to this. So maybe now it's like my reality check to release this. Because I'm almost seeing the universe like want to take something back here. Maybe you're going to surrender it because I'm seeing you be like looking for connection and maybe that's what you feel like you've been lacking and that's going to be on the other side of this too because five of cups is like very focused on what what just happened over there when you turn your gaze to where you're facing like when you're facing forward here's the two of cups and here is connection and here is something that's going to be worth it to you to hold on to so maybe you're also shifting your perspective Going from the Four of Pentacles to the Five of Cups, Pentacles to Cups can be, I spent my time doing this materially or to be safe materially, or I thought that I was going to need this backup materially, and now I'm shifting over to something that means something like emotionally or spiritually to me with the Cups here. And Three of Cups is like connecting with people that you feel supported by, you feel seen by, you feel appreciated by. You feel witnessed by people that are proud of you, people that support you, people that encourage you. I will say this, like four of pentacles can be making a choice as well. Like maybe financially I'll be better off doing this, but I don't feel happy about that. Like I'm looking for a connection and I feel like maybe I have a house with this person or 
maybe they're like funding me or something like that or maybe me staying in this job um, even though I'm miserable is going to get me money which there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you choose to do. It's all just different choices. There's no value associated to it other than what we associate to it ourselves but nothing like intrinsically anyway. It's all subjective. So anyway, you may have chosen to do something for material reasons, like resource wise, and been like, this is what's going to give me what I want, like stability, you know, and it could have been coming from this feeling of if I follow my heart, maybe resource wise, things aren't gonna be what I need them to be. And like, I don't really trust that, you know. So what I'm seeing is that there's like this shift that's happening where before, um, before there could have been more of a focus on whatever this was that you had been doing, like saving up on. And that can be energetically. It doesn't just have to be with like actual money. It can be, um, it just feels like an investment that you made that's connected with pentacles. So it's something like in your material reality. Sorry, I have something in my eye. It's like something in your material reality that you were like, um, I think that this is going to be a good idea. And now you're like, why did I waste all my time doing that? Like, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling for me. I feel like we've been talking about these two cards for like how long? For five minutes. Just these two cards. So anyway, what I'm getting is that um, because you're looking at this, this is going to be a moment where you're like... I don't want to feel this feeling anymore and I'm recognizing that if I keep investing in things in a material way and not incorporating my emotional needs and what I want to connect with emotionally, I'm just going to constantly feel this regret and emptiness. So that's what's happening. Whether this be I made a choice to stay in a relationship because I thought it was going to be stable financially but now I'm unhappy or I'm staying in this job and I feel really miserable but I have money but like what for because I don't have anyone fun to like go on adventures with you know stuff like that so however this lays for you overlays for you within your life and can be applied um I'm seeing you in this moment, but this is going to be an eye-opening moment because you're not going to want to have to go through this again. And so you're going to shift what's motivating you. And I'm seeing that the shift is to connection. And so there's more of an emotional preference here, emotional, spiritual preference, where you're like, I want to be connected with what I'm doing because I could have like all of the security in the world like all of the money in the world and it's not going to mean anything to me if I don't have people to share that with if I don't have like someone I can talk to when I'm going through something if I don't have like somebody's house I can show up at and without having to call ahead you know like people that you're close with like people that you can call randomly people that you can like go out to eat with, you know, when you want to connect with somebody, like parties, whatever it is, however you like to socialize or connect, have that intimate time. I'm seeing there be more of a shift of that sort of stuff and being around people because I'm not just seeing it be like one connection, even though there can be a special connection that's involved. I'm seeing this be just like connection in general, where you want like, you want the people around you to be these people that you have these connections with. So it's like you want each and every relationship to be like that special relationship for you. And multiple of them. And it's where you guys are seeing one another. I'm hearing like you don't just want to be talked at anymore. And maybe that's also how you've been feeling too. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is just looking so desolate. I do like to switch it up and use this deck because it definitely like has a lot of different um, emotions and like the pictures that are associated with it. It really gives a different vibe. Like this Four of Pentacles feels just like a ghost house, like an empty like skeleton of something. And you're just looking at it and be like, I can't believe I spent all my time doing that. It's It just like holds no significance to me. And like I used to put so much value on that and it used to really hold something for me. Now I'm looking at it and it just feels so empty. But something really cool is happening here. 
And it's that like money is very connected with your root and it can be connected with your sacral and it can also be connected with your solar plexus because solar plexus is your power and your sacral is like what you're attracting. And the fact that now you're looking for something that has like this emotional element and this intimate element and this spiritual element, it means that you're activating your higher chakras. So this is actually, as much as this can feel painful, you weren't activated in the way that you are now. And so certain things weren't occurring to you before, or maybe they were, but they, it wasn't fully clicking with you before. And so this is something really important here that's happening because you're like waking up more and more. So even though you can be standing in this and like looking back and seeing how like the wisdom that you have now was not used before, it sort of took you moving through this in order for that to happen. And that's why you are here now. Yeah. Because I think, too, sometimes we need to get things within our lives and then be like, oh, like this wasn't satisfying like I thought that it was going to be. Or I realize that when I'm motivated by this, I end up coming up short or empty at the end. And it's not that real thing that's going to be something for me. And we have to learn that in our own ways, too. Like maybe what society says is going to fulfill you or what your like guardians or your parents say is going to fulfill you or what your spouse or your best friend say is going to fulfill you and then you end up getting that thing or doing that thing or achieving that thing and being like it feels so empty here and sometimes that's the that's the thing that we end up realizing that's what comes to light for us and it allows us to check in like what's motivating us and why are we going after what we're going after and what do we hope to feel and experience when we get to that point like what do we think that's going to do for us and is it actually going to do that for us i think it's also like highlighting to the importance of connection now at this point because maybe before i'm hearing in your past lifetime Maybe before, at a different point in time in the past, if you achieved whatever this is, like it would have been that for you. It would have been enough. It would have done something for you. But now because you're activated in a higher space, like chakra wise, it's not the same feeling. It's not the same thing. But you were motivated by that because you thought it was going to give you something or do, again, that thing for you. But now something else is motivating you and that's a beautiful thing. You're opening yourself up to the changes and the evolution of you and your spiritual journey. Yeah, I'm seeing, yes. I'm seeing before like you thought that thing was going to make you happy. Then you look at it and you're like, that's not what I thought it was going to be. But now I'm seeing there be the shift to something that makes much more sense to you. I'm seeing you're also like much more connected with your intuition is like really learning how this thing works now and how that leads you and how that guides you. Yeah, this, this four of pentacles in the past, it may have done that thing for you but because of where you are now, because of where you've grown to, it's kind of like, like think of when you were in preschool, like something that would be really important to you or like kindergarten, like what would you want? A Barbie Jeep, something like that. And it's like, now if you got a Barbie Jeep, you'd be like, I can't even fit in this thing. Like, what's that gonna do for me? You know, it's just this growing that you've done now where like you have different priorities and it's definitely associated with your growth here because pentacles are... Um, they're earth related things and even though they're very necessary it's like the lower chakras that it's associated with in this instance yeah some of you I'm seeing a relationship be tied to this as well a commitment of sorts be tied to this as well 
some of you like multiple. I'm seeing like four different relationships. But they were all things that, they were the stepping stones for you to get to where you are now. And now you also are becoming more aware as well of like what you genuinely feel connected with in maybe a sense that feels more aligned, like because you're getting to know yourself better and your preferences better and what means something to you right now at this point in time, you're also going to know like what you want to be involved in too. And maybe at some point you're going to outgrow that as well. It's all just transitioning from one thing to the next continuously, always. feel like you're at the point like five of cups you're just taking all of this in it's all 1555 on the time when I looked up what's going to be helpful for you is reflecting on like what would I have done differently and what will I do differently now moving forward because that's really going to guide you into the new relationships that you're connecting with. Because I'm seeing that you're going to be starting off and maybe you feel like you're starting off small but I'm seeing something very very special that you're holding like to go from this, the four of pentacles, where there are four pentacles, okay, like stacked up, but, but this card looking so desolate and empty, to you just having one pentacle as this little page here, but look at how happy this person looks. Like, look at the difference um, with, like, the ambiance of this card here. And so much lighter in the greenery and the blue and the connectivity, and this person looks so happy, like one pentacle is enough because it's one that means something to them rather than having a whole bunch of something that feels very empty. So even though you may, page can be feeling like you're sort of starting off small, it feels significant, maybe even more significant than when you had lots of stuff or lots of whatever this was. feel like there's more of the type of opportunity you want because it's like one opportunity that you want is going to be so much worth so much more than 50 opportunities and that you don't want any of them you know and that's what this is all for now we go from page to Two of coins. So now here's another one. See, you start off with one. Now you have two of them. And now you're balancing that. Prioritizing the relationships that matter to you. The ones where you feel seen. The ones where you feel like you have people working with you. Spending time doing things that you enjoy doing. That you feel connected with that feel inspiring to you, where you feel the camaraderie, where you feel like the teamwork, the community, the family. It feels too like there's a cleansing that's happening and a simplifying that's happening. Yeah, I'm seeing like people that you really feel like you can engage with and have the types of conversations that you want to have. And it feels like this is also very mentally stimulating. It's like people that you have, like you guys want to talk about the same things or you want to talk about things that it like inspires the other one rather than you having somebody talking about something and you're like, I could fall asleep listening to them. Like nothing in this is resonating with me versus like people that you have now that you're going to begin connecting with that do really resonate with you. And that feeling stimulating. 
intellectually, emotionally, spiritually. And even though you may have something that's like a bit more downsized or downscale from what you had before, it means so much more to you. And before, it does feel like you could have thought that other thing was like going to bring you joy, going to bring you happiness, and maybe it even did for a time, but then it started like tasting very lonely. All a transition, all a transformation. The death card, the death card represents the things that we are surrendering in order to allow for growth, in order to allow new growth. And I'm seeing that what you're discovering is connected with your joy now and your inspiration now and your motivation now and what really like fulfills you and resonates within you now that that old stuff is like dying to the new versions of that to the progressed versions of that there's like an evolution that you're going through when it comes to how you connect with your cup energy with your water energy and something new is being born if you so allow it i'm seeing you've already made a lot of progress Too. yeah I I do get the feeling that like you could have taken something and felt like it was like a sure thing or like a safe bet but then five of cups is you looking at this and being like it just it's not saturated with anything. It feels like, if anything, the colors just bleed out of it and you like can't get them to stick in it. Like the energy. It just is like, reminds me of just like a wafer, like no substance at all to it. It would feel for you. So even though it may be the bones of something like the bones of a job or the bones of a relationship or the bones of a house or again, whatever this is for you, you're looking at it and you're just like, it feels, it just feels so empty looking at it. Like it doesn't have that, it's like when you are like walking down the street or driving down a development or something like that and you see all of these houses and they don't really mean anything to you and then you pass by like your childhood home and that like sticks out to you because you have that emotional connection to it, you know? This is like finding those things for you that spark something within you. Or you just like end up seeing this house out of again, the like million houses that you pass every day um, you then like see this one that's sticking out to you and you're like, it's resonating with me for some reason. And so I'm just seeing that be like what you're gravitating towards now. But it's because you've like activated where before those things weren't activated for you. So you were just working with what you had. Now you have more to work with. And so like more is going to appeal to you and it's going to appeal on a deeper level because you're getting higher up. So that's what's happening here. And I'm seeing you're going to prioritize more the connections where you feel like you are seen and valued and like witnessed and where like you show up and the other person shows up or the other people show up. And I'm seeing like those are the relationships that you're going to be prioritizing now. The ones where you feel like there's unity and harmony and whatever other values you have when it comes to your interpersonal relationships. And especially people that you can converse with that really resonate with you. And I'm seeing that be very, very consistent currently of your pursuit of happiness. Like that socialization that you're looking for. That intimacy that you're looking for currently. But what I'm getting is that to have us end with the death card and begin with the four of pentacles. This is like what needs to shed in order to allow that path to clear for you. So you can take it. So you can walk down that. It feels like things are being set up now too for like some new things that are going to be ushered into your life as well. 
All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.